Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Marooned on Triton. So we're in the middle of our journey back home from the crash site. We found this garage-type structure, um, used it as such, sapped some power out of it, and we should hopefully be close to full charged and ready to hit the road again. Uh, last time was fairly safe, uh, aside from some driving challenge. So, hopefully this time won't be worse. Hopefully we make it home. Alright, let's hop in and see what's going on. Alrighty. So, we've got a headlight added. Batteries are looking charged now. It is the middle of the night. But... I suppose that's a fine time to hit the road, just as time as any time. Yeah, we're out of here. So we've got the spare battery components in the seat in case we need them. Hopefully we don't. Uh, guess we'll just hop on. Take control. And then... We still don't have access to our own connector, but if I turn that off, everything shuts off because the batteries were off. Right. Uh, auto, please. All right, there we go. Let's add our spotlight on there. Maybe turn off my own suit Fuel lights. Critical. Yeah. Okay. Control, controlled. Headlight on. Let's head out. It is still a little disorienting being sat at the front of this thing. Okay. Goodbye, garage. You were quite good for us. We should, yeah. When I'm hitting the gas, we only drop down to five hours. If I can't make it back home in five hours of constant driving uh, we went too far to begin with now I could potentially skirt along that coast to the right but I don't know if that's the wisest choice oh and actually I think yeah they're still set at way high strength uh, that's probably not ideal to now. Let's maybe set the rear ones at like eight, because we've got all that stuff in that connector. That should be all right. Maybe I can set the front ones down to like four. Just to give it some cushioning power. So I could try and run along the coastline there. Some of it seems a little less steep than it was earlier. Uh, maybe we do that just for as long as we can. Because if I recall, this one does end. Oof. You know, I thought it was a fairly, you know, small slopes that were close to us. Turns out it may have been very large slopes very far away. Certainly, like when you're in a real flat area. You see mountains in the distance, and you're like, oh, okay, there's some hills over there. 
And then there you stay there for three days as you travel. I don't know if this is a good idea or all or not actually. I think that's the coast right there. Definitely be able to be on it for a bit, even if it doesn't go very far towards the uh, base. Oop. Okay. Right, that's a danger of the snow I forgot about. I can go careening off things. Carry over this way. Oh. As uncomfortable as the ice is, maybe it was the better option. So while I'm a little bit more prone to slipping and sliding on it, Yeah, like here I'm more prone to tumbling. <laughs> it's much harder to tell how far around the curvature of the planet things are when you're on this sort of terrain. I feel like maybe I want to be a little further down this way. It looks a little smoother. Maybe. No, maybe not. Especially in the dark, it's so deceptive. And unfortunately, I spent a lot of the daytime fixing up the car in that garage. Yeah. Not something I thought I'd say on an abandoned ice planet. Uh, so I could continue along the coast and get a little closer. But honestly, having done that for a bit now, as long as I keep my speed in check, the ice is maybe actually a little safer. I do feel more exposed, though. I guess here in the middle of the ice or on the side of a snowdrift. Probably pretty easy to spot regardless. It's kind of nice being out here under the stars. Seem reflecting off the ice ocean. Thinking about it, just seeing this vast emptiness. I mean, I'm only, I'm sure, relatively seen a fairly small sliver of the planet. This kind of there and back trip. It does make me wonder if there was stuff going on before. I'm sure it wasn't much, but. What on earth? Okay. What is happening? I got a flat? Huh. Something really weird with the ice there. 
No, it seems to be whenever I try and go forward. Maybe the suspensions. Gotten weird. Cut up the power. I don't really need to, but seems to pull us out of that weirdness. I've got the juice to spare now. Uh, anyway, what I was saying before that does make me wonder. You now, was the stuff here? So far, I've seen kind of the odd building here and there. Wonder if there was like a town or a, a city somewhere. Was there an organized source and then what I've seen are little outbuildings or was everything just super dispersed? You wouldn't think that would be the case. I mean, it doesn't seem particularly smart to just kind of have every have everyone out on their own, especially in such a cold kind of hostile place. I guess it wasn't hostile before. Aside from the cold. I wonder if I look around, maybe I can find a town or, you know, some more organized settlement that kind of could maybe give me some answers about what happened. Oh. Okay, there's something real strange going on. Very strange. Um. I'm somehow creating a gyroscopic effect with the wheel. This is just accelerating like forward and reverse. Oh, this is very strange. Okay, we're back on our wheels again. This ice is having some strange effects. Not or I'm going slowly crazy from the isolation. Yeah, I think we're roughly halfway there. Another GPS marker. It turned off just because I didn't think I'd need it. Maybe I should have kept it just to remember. Or see progress. We're way out on the ice now. I think that's still part of that landmass I was on. The very end of it, but it doesn't look like it would have been navigable for particularly long. There are some. I wonder if that's the far mountains I can see from home. Just peeking off in the distance. Or maybe part of that landmass at the very least. Yeah, I see land ahead. I don't think it's home yet. I do remember there was some other stuff I kind of skirted along the side of as I was coming out. But there's a chance if I kind of hug right along the coast of this. It should kind of guide me in.
Not really seen much buddy bot activity recently. At least not compared to what there was. There was that one cargo ship that flew over, but it's been fairly quiet other than that. I guess that's a good thing. It does make me wonder though if they kinda amass their force go deal with the crash and then I don't know maybe they need some time to recover there are definitely a lot of things over in that area and maybe too because I'm on the move even though I'm not going particularly fast maybe I'm just going fast enough to kind of you know, it's just dumb luck, I happen to be weaving through their search patterns. However, they patrol things. Oh boy. Okay. In my head, I figured I'll just go the direct route. Oh boy. This one may be a little too direct. Starting wheels are acting up. Wonder if they're starting to freeze up the joints. Oh boy. I mean, there is a lot of snow and ice. There shouldn't be anything getting in the way. I don't think my headlight would cause a problem. It should be fine where it is. I guess it is lightning, maybe. Oh boy. Fuel critical. Maybe I try and get rid of it. Uh put it in the inaccessible box. Okay. We'll see if that helps. It's not quite the traditional way of turning off the headlights, but it's worked. Hopefully, maybe it was somehow interfering with the transmission mechanism from the motors, creating electromagnetic interference. Yeah, I think this is definitely that landmass I kind of skirted along the side of. I could just go straight over. Maybe I will up there where that point is. But I am still feeling like the ice is actually the safer road. Nice sunrise behind us. It probably will be once the sun peaks over. This mountain to the side. Yeah, I think I'll carry on around the point. Ooh. It's one heck of a point. That's a weird landmass. Must have been some sort of glacial shift. Ooh. There's that faint signal. Is that the same one? That might be the uh, landing tower, which is a good sign. We're nearly home. In fact, is that... I think that's the home mountain ahead of us. The peak of it. Because I think this to the right... I think that's that other coast I went to where that crash drone was. The first one I sort of discovered. Oh. There's something out there. Fuel critical. Else. 
Shoot. Yeah. That looks like another structure. Uh. Well. I mean. We're here. We might as well go for it. We're close enough to home. I actually feel. Fairly safe. That's the mountain, I'm pretty sure, so. From here, we're probably well within, yeah, six kilometers. If something goes funny, we can always, uh, we should be within range to be reconstituted back at base, and we can take the, uh, hover trike, or the sky trike. God, it's been so long I'm forgetting. This looks like something. This would make sense because it's fairly close to that landing platform. Maybe part of it is that they just really disperse structures. Whatever organization did this, maybe they were doing research that they didn't want to have interfered with. Fuel critical. Okay. Again, I have no ammo, so <clears throat> we'll go in. But these things don't seem to be dangerous. This one has some power. Actually, it's got a good bit of power generation. Hmm. Some sort of greenhouse. I was just about to say, well, it's convenient they don't lock their doors. Uh... I could go in through this. Or do that. Okay. An oxygen farm. Looks like the plants are still alive. Must be a contained ecosystem. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that was definitely a greenhouse. They've got some trace ores, some organic something. Probably don't want to know what that is. Interesting. And again, there's not too much use. I could probably get oxygen out of this system, but there's oxygen here anyway. If I open my helmet, I survive. Just gets kind of cold on the old face. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's another cargo bot. Come into range. Yeah, they really must just be focusing... ...all their attention on that other place. The crash site. Which is good for me, because it means they probably don't know where I am or think that I'm a threat. While I'm here, anything else on the horizon? No. That must be the building that I saw on the way out. Maybe it was. Feels like it was a lot closer. And that one was pretty close. Yeah, that's the faint signal that's the broadcasting from the, uh... That thing. That landing pad. Alright. We're almost within view. I think I can just make out the top of the hole. Now 
there it is. Cave, sweet cave. Ah. And a turret to defend myself. That feels good. I've got to say, I think I need more of them. It's a lovely start, but I think first order of business might be to get the uh, sort of turrets and wind turbines at the entrance here going. Ah. Fuel critical. Boom. Sweet home. Hmm. Skytrike looks dead. Is that this thing clacking? That's very odd. How much power do we have? Uh, a 94%, so we're still good for that. That's convenient. Probably out of hydrogen. Uh. Well, okay. Huh. Now that I'm back, I'm just reminded of all the stuff I need to get done. And all that remains of the hover barge. I guess I could try and rebuild it, but... Honestly, I don't know. I really... I've not had much use for it, aside from it just being the thing I had available. Wonder if it wouldn't be better to just maybe... I could turn this into a dedicated vehicle. Or heck, I could see about trying to attach this to this, or at least maybe the battery power from this put into here. Hmm. I think that's the first order of business is probably get some fuel, though maybe I don't need fuel. Yeah, you're out. I need to start moving the base in. Let's take a look out here and maybe start planning. Probably need some metal. Let's start planning out what we want to do here. As the storm blows through. So... So this deck is the deck structure I'm going to continue all the way back. So if I kind of build off of this, up to maybe there. I'd like to stick it in the wall here. Uh... Yeah, so if I kind of work that up and around, I go one forward. Oh, nope. Well, that was convenient. Whoops. Finish this. Wall building. Dangerous stuff. So. That should work. I can have a turret on each side of the sort of entryway. I could build maybe another outlier turret out there. Send the first line of defense. Oh, 
Oh, I think I was thinking of the turrets up here. And maybe this being a line of turbines. I guess I could make a turbine line coming out here. I can't remember. Uh, let's maybe aim for that. So this structure will be... The sort of entrance wind farm... Bojangle. We'll also cover up some of the, uh... mess that was made previously. That's a sort of entrance. This, I can drill out a hole, kind of cover it up, and make it an emplacement for weapons. And it should probably be, maybe this, maybe it becomes a tower so I can get above the wind turbines. I'll have three turbines along there. Uh, that won't produce a ton of power, but should hopefully do enough to kind of manage the basic operation of the base. It'll be a backup at the very least that means I can always generate, uh, I can always produce hydrogen to run engines if need be. Coming out the base of this tower, though I don't think I can get the whole way round. Guess I can go up a level. This should actually work because it'll give me four. If I go up enough, I could have four guns. Maybe just one on each side, but plenty of attachment points for future weapons. I guess. This could go very poorly for me because I know there's a hole under this. Oh, there's some. Oh boy. Yeah, that's what I wanted to avoid. I haha -ha. okay now I've got a bit safer of a platform a bit maybe I just kinda I know roughly where I want it Let's just get rid of all this. Because otherwise it's all just going to explode. Okay. Not very impressive. It's just a hole. But that hole will become a tower. I'm okay with this. And I am okay with this as well. Said as the narrator versus the player. So yeah, uh, <clears throat> back home, I guess I normally just stare at one spot doing these, uh, so we get to see a hole. Back home, uh, you can finally start doing some base improvements, uh, get that stuff squared away before we set off on more adventuring, and I guess start trying to look for some of those relays. So, thank you everybody so much for watching, feel free to check out any of the energy other stuff critical. I've done. My energy is critical. Uh, I already said thank you. Bye-bye.